This is a carnewscafe.com podcast quick sip. Hello, this is Aaron from carnewscafe.com. Today we're going to talk about the 2014 Toyota Corolla. The 2014 Corolla is bigger and roomier with a far edgier look than it sported in the past. Although saddled with a clunky CVT, it achieves better fuel economy despite its size increase, making for a lot of changes since the first time I ever drove a Corolla, which was way back in the 1980s. My first car was a 1984 Toyota Corolla LE. That was in the golden age of Toyota when the company built a solid reputation for itself for both reliability and value for the dollar. That car had 289,000 miles on it when it finally died, and its death was largely due to a young man's negligence rather than any unexpected mechanical failure. The engine and 5-speed standard transmission easily had another 50,000 more miles in them. Fast forward to today, and that boxy 123 design seems woefully outdated and bereft of any sophistication or style. Not only has the design for the 2014 Toyota Corolla changed dramatically over time, but so has the car's size and appeal. This car is often on the bestseller list for good reason, and though this generation may have a tougher go of it thanks to some powerful competition, it's still a contender for several reasons. The 2014 Toyota Corolla has a very different profile from its more sedate predecessors. The blasé contours and no-frills front clip are gone and have been replaced with a more aggressive front grille, stronger curves, tighter headlights, and and nicer wheel choices. The general shape of the car has not changed too much, with the aerodynamics remaining a top priority, but the roofline is more curved thanks to a changed pillar arrangement, which makes them thinner in front and less of a euro curve in the rear. The deck lid is also shorter for a more fastback appeal at the rear. The premium package adds a rear spoiler, and the new curves for the rear lamps are a nice touch. The S and other packages offer some fetching wheel choices, including the eye-grabbing alloys that we had on ours. Overall, the exterior styling is a lot more aggressive and loses most of that previous boring sedan mark that's kind of plagued this car for a long time. The interior is still the comfortable, well-considered Corolla that many have known and loved. It's made for the everyday driver and has a lot of thoughtful ergonomic touches that keep it a top choice for those of us who use this car daily. Seating is comfortable with a lot of new room added, especially in the back seat, thanks to the slightly larger body size in this new generation Corolla. Packaging like our S Premium had some better materials to the seats and more adjustment for the driver. Trunk space is a priority in this segment, and Toyota didn't scrimp, with the new 2014 Corolla's rear boot being very spacious. Not much has changed in there, and it's very competitive for the segment in terms of size and opening dimensions. The rear seats fold down, of course, and the legroom throughout the cabin has improved in a big way. The doors are slightly larger, too, making entry and egress easier, and for parents, the installation of child safety seats is very quick and easy, whether you have the latch system or tethers. The 2014 Toyota Corolla has a very familiar 1.8-liter four-cylinder dual overhead camshaft. This engine sports 16 valves and variable valve timing and produces 132 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. This runs through a continuously variable transmission. The only exception to this engine configuration is in the LE Echo model, which raises horses and lowers torque. The CVT is what matters in this setup and is what's responsible for most of the new Corolla's fuel efficiency. At 37 miles per gallon on the highway and 29 miles per gallon in the city, the 2014 Corolla is no slouch but this added efficiency comes at a cost. In short, the CVT is clunky, to say the least. Even those who aren't car nuts notice it. It makes disconcerting whining sounds, has an erratic shifting jerk that's supposed to simulate normal automatic transmission, and gives the Corolla a sluggish feeling, even though the car is expected to be a sluggish anyway. It robs the powertrain of any confidence it might have had. Others have gone the way of the CVT and have very stellar results from it, notably Nissan and Subaru. For whatever reason, Toyota's engineers deemed it important to mimic the shifting of a standard transmission, and the result is just sad. For the driver and passengers on the road, though, outside the transmission, which you do eventually get used to, though it always kind of lingers there, the ride and drive in the 2014 Toyota Corolla are about what you would expect of the car. The Corolla has never been the sportiest, peppiest, or most maneuverable, or the most fun car in this segment. It has, however, always been comfortable, always confident, and always good at its job. That doesn't change for the 2014 model year, despite this redesign. For the market, though, that's one of the key factors that's kept the Corolla in the top sales list. Comfortable and simple mean reliable to most people, and that's what the Toyota Corolla is best known for. Highway noise inside is loud, but not outside of the expectations of the compact car segment. 
With the work Toyota has done in their other cars, however, it's surprising they didn't do more dampening here. Still, it's tolerable. The 2014 Corolla handles well in the city, is confident on the highway, and has very good visibility, making it easy to get in and out of parking stalls. The mirrors are a good size, and the controls are straightforward and no-nonsense. Key competition for the 2014 Toyota Corolla includes the very well-done 2014 Kia Forte, the stylish little 2014 Ford Focus, and mainstay competition like the Honda Civic and Chevy Cruze. The Forte is a prettier car, but has a higher price point when it becomes competitive with the Corolla as we drove it. The Focus is also prettier and has sport packages that please many enthusiasts. The Civic has always been a close contender to the Cruze, and the Cruze offers a great diesel variant, so competition in the Corolla market is very stiff. The Toyota Corolla has always been a standard go-to car in the compact segment, and will remain so for some time. This new redesign doesn't change the qualities which made it a bestseller, and adds a little style to the exterior to go with it. The CVT is really the only thing holding this car back, but it doesn't give us any reason to believe the car will be less reliable mechanically. Overall, it's a good choice for buyers in the compact sedan segment, as the Corolla always has been. So for CarNewsCafe.com, this has been Aaron. We'll talk to you again soon.